Okay, here's another uh, tutorial. This time we're going to take a look at the more complex and hence more flexible NNXT sampler. Again, we'll just figure out how to load patches and how to load samples on this device. You can see that it's currently initialized, meaning there's no patch loaded. Um, the sample browser button is right here. I'm, I'm sorry, the browse patch button. But where's the sample browser? It seems to be missing. Well, the NNXT has lots and lots and lots of controls that aren't immediately apparent. There's this very thin area down here that says Remote Editor. If I click on this arrow, I can unfold the Remote Editor and you can see it has a whole lot of synthesizer controls and this nice big display which we're gonna look at later when we start mapping out uh, multiple samples across the keyboard but for now we'll keep it simple again the patch browser up here at the top I'll leave my mouse hovering there and it says browse patch if I wanted to load individual samples I would do that down here in the remote editor let's try that same experiment we tried before We'll first load Piano Patch A3. There it is. I playing in the wrong octave. Sorry about that. Okay. Now again, I'm playing the note C, and we're hearing A3. So what I need to do to fix that is I need to find the root key knob. I know there's a whole lot of stuff to look at, but if you look at the lower left corner of the display, just below the lower left corner you'll see root key. It's currently set to uh, C3. I'm going to turn that knob and adjust it up to A3. So that way when I play A3 I'll hear this sample and the sample is the uh, recording of a piano playing the note A3. So here I'm playing A3 on my MIDI keyboard and we get that sample. Okay. Even though this sampler is maybe a little fancier, more complex, the same thing is true. If I load just one sampled piano note and then try to play, okay, it still doesn't sound very good, okay, because that one sample, when you move it too far up or down, it, it simply plays it back faster or slower to transpose it and after a couple of notes that starts becoming very obvious. Hardly, hardly sounds like a piano anymore. Okay, so we're gonna initialize this patch. Do you remember how we did that on the NN19? We right-clicked or Macintosh control click and we choose initialize patch and it basically clears that out okay so to load a patch which is a multi sample set I'm gonna go up here to the patch browser click on patch browser and reason factory sound bank and NXT sampler patches and then I'm gonna look for pianos okay and let's try this patch here that says Grand Piano. Okay, you can see there are a whole lot of samples that loaded here. If I scroll down on this display, you can see there are even more. Each note, it looks like, has two different sample, uh, samples that play. Okay, and those samples, each little sample is spread out over a different set of keys on the keyboard. So if I start playing very low on the keyboard and then move to higher notes, I'm going to be trigger triggering different samples as I go. Let's select key zone via MIDI so we can see which sample is playing. 